This episode of TechZilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Mike posted this question on our Facebook page asking, Hey Texilla, I have a question. I am new to the Mac world. I bought a MacBook Pro and I was wondering, is there any antivirus for the Mac? Are there any antivirus applications for OS X? Kids, come with me. Look at the Wikipedia. Avast, Avira, Source Free, VRT, Komodo, Dr. Ooh. Web, ESET, F Secure, Indigo, Kapersky Labs, Panda Security, mm -hmm. Protect Mac, Softwind, Sophos, Cement, Tech Trend, Micro, WebRoot, Zio, and everybody. So the answer is yes. There is too many. There is a lot, and but the, the, the thing is, is that it, it's we're still kind of in a place where OS 10 is a very right. small segment of the population, yes. and so it's not attacked as frequently as Windows PCs are. So yes, you're vulnerable, and you should. I would still suggest running antivirus, but a lot of people say you don't need to. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're like, well, it's 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 a stronger core, like the, the core, the 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 core, the kernel is is safer than than the Windows kernel. Every three years, they cut off all the code they don't want to support anymore, and then that makes it safer. And 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 it's like there's this Dilbert cartoon from years and years and years ago. It's like nobody's been murdered in Dilbert's town for ten years, and Dilbert's like, we're safe forever, and Dogbert's like, we're due. OS 10 is due. Right, so it's probably a really good idea for you to be running antivirus software on there. Almost nobody does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some reason it, it takes up some system resources right. a little bit, especially if it's running in the background. Yeah, I mean, here, okay. So currently, the best rated free antivirus for OS 10, uh, if you want to get one going, is a vast exclamation Arr, point. Avast. Avast. Uh, it's free. The interface is pretty spiffy. You're going to need to register a free account with Avast to get full use out of the program. But once you do, it's yours for a year until you need to renew the license again. A word of caution, running antivirus does require active use of your processor, so performance will suffer if you're running a scan, so try to do the scans in the wee small hours of the morning if you don't use your computer during the wee small hours of the morning. Yeah, but most of most of the situation is, is like, do you need one? I yeah. guess that's really the question we're getting down to. So yeah, yeah, yes and no. Most most yeah. virus trojans are still pretty much written with Windows in mind, like we said. Big but, you huge know, target. <laughs> but but worms and other internet attacks against flaws in web browsers or Java can affect any machine or operating system, and mm -hmm. that leaves OS X vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, Rogers used one on his MacBook for the better part of a year. And the only thing that's been flagged have actually been Windows executable ex executable files. So that's pretty funny. Yeah. It's nice to know that Avast is looking for that. I, 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 I am back and forth. Sometimes I've, I run uh, uh, AV on the OSN. For one particular two-week period, I was running uh, two antivirus softwares simultaneously by accident. Yeah, there's, there's an analogy there that I can't really say on a family show. I felt very <laughs> safe, OK? Good, and that, that's what is important. Um, My I'm, machine was a little slow. Yeah, that'll happen. Um, I'm using a Mac Booster Beta. I'm actually not sure what it's searching for under internet security. I'm assuming it's looking whoa, for whoa, 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 the kind of things I don't What's know. What is it? Does that say Mac health poor? I don't know what I've done to this poor puppy. You, I have apparently you haven't protected your Mac from threats. Run it into the ground. Yeah. System so it's, clean up. It's scanning right now. It's got it's got a ways to go. I've got some 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 optimizations to make. So we shall see. Yeah, it's a little contagious. Having just been re away. I've been rereading World away. War Z as my antidote to watching nice. the movie, and now I'm just going to get my. Did you get a flu shot? No, I haven't gotten a flu I shot. I got mine yesterday. That's how Ow. The virus <laughs> it's still sore. <laughs> It makes my whole arm sore. Oh. It's like tetanus for me. When I get a shot, no matter what it is, my arm's sore for like two days afterwards. Oh my goodness. I am weak. I will not survive the zombie apocalypse. But hey. I will. You might, and you should stick around because we've got more of your emails still to come. But first, it is time to thank one of our sponsors. Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and a .NET domain name from Domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from Domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? The .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com because they're affordable. .NET addresses are only $8.99 a year. They're also reliable and easy to use. The folks at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 20% off of their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. That's 20% and big time savings, and please don't forget to use the coupon code TECHZILLA. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com.